garden video in a while. The heat and hot weather kind of slowed everything down and wasn't really anything to talk about for a while. But tonight I'm doing some harvesting, so I thought I'd do a video of what I picked. And then in a couple days, maybe I'll do one of the garden again. Um, this is probably the best carrot harvest I've ever had. I'm not sure exactly why. I think the main reason is probably because I thinned them well enough this time. I'm, I'm usually um, I'm usually just hate to thin out a lot of a lot of healthy looking plants, but this time I was pretty ruthless about it, and I think I actually gave them enough room to grow, which I usually don't do. Um, even as ruthless as I thought I was being, I still found some that were really too close together and ended up small, like this one here. But I also ended up with quite a few nice, nice sized ones. Um, I think these were Danvers carrot, as far as the variety goes. They look about that shape, kind of a squat, a squat carrot that's pretty easy to pull. Um, I almost let them go too far. A few of them had gone to seed. I brought one up here just to show when you let one go to seed, you get this real tall plant with a Queen Anne's lace looking bloom on the top where it's going to make seeds. It's about four feet tall. And at the bottom, the carrot starts to shrivel up, so you get a tiny little carrot. So you don't want that. Um, a few of them did that, but most of them I, I beat to it. Um, so I've got a pretty good pile of them here. I was originally just planning, because I didn't expect much out of them, I was planning to just dig them up, clean them up, and uh, like I started cleaning up some here, just scrub them, cut the top off, and uh, throw them in a bag in the freezer, and then I'd throw a few into every batch of chicken stock or beef stock or anything like that that I make. Um, but these actually look nice enough, and there's enough of them here that I think it may be worth canning them. So I'm going to clean them up here and see if it turns out there's enough. Um, there's more, there's some more underneath the tops here. It's kind of hard to tell yet just how much there are. But if I can get, well, maybe four quarts out of them, if they'll fill about four quart jars, then I think it'll be worth running the canner for three hours it takes to can them. I um, also had some decent beets. Um, well, the other thing about the carrots is this was about, I think, eight to ten feet a row so really it's a pretty good pretty good bunch for that shorter row um, the beets I think there was maybe four feet a row so I got a few nice ones in there um, some of them are pretty small um, there again I thought I really thinned them out and there were still some that were close together but I do have a few nice ones in there I thought well if I get enough carrots to fill up four jars and maybe fill one jar of beets or maybe pickled beets then it'll be worth, and then I'll have a canner full. Um, the canner that I'm using right now holds five jars. Um, I wish it were just a little bigger, it holds seven, but it only holds five. Um, so that would fill it up. Um, and I dug one plant of potatoes, and there's also a little onion that was volunteering next to them. Um, they're a little on the small side, this particular plant, but there's a lot of potato there. Um, so that's that's a good sign. Um, it'd be nice if there were three or four big ones instead of so many small ones, but um, that's a good sign for how the rest of them are going to do. Um, they're pretty well died. They've pretty well died now. This plant was completely dead. Some of the other plants are still a little green, but I'll be able to dig them all within the next within the next week. So that's a pretty good start anyway on those. And then I also picked some green beans. Um, green beans are probably about the most disappointing thing in the garden this year. Not because they did the worst, but just because I really, I use a lot of them if I've got them. And I'd like to have about 50 quarts of them in the basement right now, but I don't, so. Um, these, I'm not sure what variety these, these are, but they're a climbing green bean with a purple cast to them. And they just looked kind of sad the whole time. They finally did produce some. That's where all, that's where all these came from. Some of them seem more purple than others, so I'm not sure what that's about. But um, most of my green beans just seem to wilt in the heat, and I think they were they were trying to they were trying to bloom right at the time when it was the hottest, and they even with even with me watering them pretty regularly, they just couldn't seem to get it done. I think the blooms were generally dying in the heat, and now that it's cooled off, I think they're kind of perking up, and they may they may actually end up producing something worthwhile. Um, this isn't a very big batch here, especially considering there's some bug bites and stuff on them that I'll have to clean up. It's really only enough for a few meals. Um, and considering these are the first ones I've picked, 
that's not much um, for green beans so that's been disappointing but um, some other things like the the carrots seem to be making up for it so that's the harvest for tonight I'm gonna get started cleaning these things up and um, I'll do one of the garden and how it's coming along in a couple days